Here he comes. He's done it! Rangers go to Manchester! Arguably the most important goal scored by Rangers in a generation. Nacho Novo's penalty in Florence, which took his club into the UEFA Cup final. Tonight he's a prisoner in his own home after Celtic fans apparently revealed his address on a website. On Sunday night, Celtic coach Neil Lennon was assaulted in Glasgow's Ashton Lane just hours after defeat in the Old Firm match. Any Old Firm player should be free to socialise. I have had instances where I have been asked to leave pubs, where I have been hassled in restaurants. And that's only the minimum um, impact they can have on your life. But uh, with regards to Neil Lennon and Nacho Novo, this is taken on to a new level and it's something that has to be stopped. These incidents aren't just related to football, though. Often at Nil by Mouth, we get regular communications each day from someone who's experienced religious hatred within their own local community. The matter was even raised in Parliament today. It shows clearly that bigotry and religious hatred are not yet in the dustbin of history for Scotland. And I would ask the First Minister, therefore, to explain why he has not maintained the progress on re of recent years on sectarianism in Scotland. This government and everybody in this chamber eh, believes and knows that sectarianism is a continuing problem in Scottish society. It's one of the ills that afflict us. Let's look again at Sunday's scorers here for Celtic, Georgia Samaras, a Greek, and Shansuki Nakamura, a Japanese. For Rangers, Daniel Kuzan, who is from Gabon, Pedro Mendes, who is from Portugal, and Kenny Miller, who's a Scot. Miller has played for both Celtic and Rangers, and players are frequently turning out for both sides of the old firm. It's not as controversial as it once was for professional footballers, but clearly the divide is as wide as it ever was for sections of the support. Mike Edwards, STV News, Glasgow.